Happy day, everybody. Football season is finally here, and that means it's time to bring out the tailgate food. So today I'll be rolling out smoked pork belly and jalapeno coleslaw sliders, a near-perfect four-bite pregame snack. Let's go. Okay, huddle up y'all. I grabbed this full pork belly from Costco for about $35 and this thing could feed a lot of people. But today I'm gonna use a little less than half of it for the sandwiches and reserve the other portion for a future video. So if you have any ideas for what you think I should do, please comment down below. I determined a general slice size for the buns I'll be using and I cut this slab into near perfect quarters before turning those four quarters into strips. And if your knife is sharp and the meat is cold, it'll be a hundred times easier, I swear. In order to maximize that sweet succulence, I'm using Honey Hog from Meat Church, a near perfect companion for pork belly in my opinion, and it'll go great with these sandwiches. You're going to want to lay it on pretty thick and wait for it to stick about 15 to 30 minutes until that belly gets all sweaty like this before gently sitting the tray on a smoker preheated to 250 degrees. Then it's on to the slaw. I roughly chopped roughly half of a green cabbage quarter of a red cabbage, then poorly julienned about one and a half carrots, and minced two jalapenos. Then in a separate bowl, I added half a cup of mayonnaise, two and a half tablespoons of whole milk, two and a half tablespoons of buttermilk, one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and juiced half of a lemon. I threw in three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of kosher salt from a thumb grinder, and two teaspoons of black pepper. Then all I did was whisked it up, poured it over the veggies, mix it up with my hands, covered it with a little plastic film to toss in the refrigerator to chill, and there's your coleslaw. I prepped a spritz bottle with apple juice that I tried to use about every 45 minutes or so. This does lay a little bit of sweet layer during this stage, but mostly it just helps prevent the outside of the belly from burning. I only ended up spritzing twice during the cook because the meat looked nice and moist, and besides moving the meat around the hot spots for even cooking, I didn't have to do much over the three hour period they were smoking. After their internal temperature reached about 195 degrees, it was time to start the second phase of the cook, the burn end phase. This is where you take the meat to the next level by caramelizing and crunchifying the pork belly. You could totally stop at this stage because the meat was super flavorful and tender, but like I said, we're gonna take it to the next level. I'm gonna use about five tablespoons of Kerrygold butter, Jerby BBQ's ribby sauce, which is amazing, and I'll tag the video recipe here. This is the first time I used it like this and it worked incredibly well. Threw on a little extra flavor of that Meat Church honey hog and then topped it all off with some honey, which will be the caramelizing agent and make these things sticky and amazing. And then lastly, to elevate the spice component, I cut up one more jalapeno and toss it all in to go one more hour on the smoker. At that point, the meat was done and it was time to assemble the Avengers. I decided to use King's Hawaiian slider rolls because who doesn't love King's Hawaiian sliders? Got that chilled slaw out of the refrigerator and laid out these delicious pork belly burn end strips. I grabbed my buns and laid a pretty good layer of the jalapeno slaw on the bottom and placed one to two pork belly burn end strips on each sandwich. And then it was time for my favorite part about making these videos, time to dig in.
Friends, this really was super delicious, ridiculously easy, really quick with minimal ingredients, and folks are going to love you for bringing those to the tailgate or late night secret society meeting. And not only that, but you will thank yourself for making these. They are just that good and easy. As always, thanks a million for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already to follow me along on my adventures through Barbecue Elementary. Thank you.